Uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is now at Joint Base Andrews saying that drone was in international airspace. Iran is not telling him the truth. He's about heading out to Saudi Arabia, the UAE, for consultations. Here's uh, the Secretary of State live right now. That that letter was in fact sent, and I'm hopeful that this will provide a good foundation for us to begin and to continue the important discussions with the North Koreans to denuclearize the peninsula. And with that, I'm happy to take a couple of questions. Yes, yes ma'am. What kind of signal are you looking for from Iran to show that they're willing to de-escalate? And why don't you just pick up the phone and call them first? Oh, goodness. The, look, the president said this this morning. I think the vice president reiterated this. We're prepared to negotiate with no preconditions. They know precisely how to find us. And I am confident that um, at the very moment they're ready to truly engage with us, we'll begin, we're able to begin these conversations. I, I'm looking forward to that day that the president has said repeatedly we want a brighter future for the people of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Those negotiations are the gateway. That, that's how we'll ultimately achieve this. With respect to your second question, I hope so. <clears throat> I, we, we have been working to lay the foundations for that uh, since Hanoi. We think we're in a better place, and I think the remarks you saw out of North Korea this morning suggest that that may well be a very real possibility. We're, we're ready to go. We're literally uh, prepared to begin at a moment's notice if the North Koreans indicate that they're prepared for those discussions. As for the sanctions, so today some 80-plus percent of the North Korean economy is sanctioned. I think it's important for everyone to remember uh, that this is uh, of the Iranian economy, yes, of the Iranian economy is sanctioned. Uh, this, this will be, I don't want to get in front of what will announce tomorrow, but this will be a further effort to ensure that their capacity not only to uh, grow their economy but to evade sanctions becomes more and more difficult. And it will be an important addition to our capacity to enforce sanctions against Iran to ultimately achieve the objective that we've laid out. Uh, look, the president will make a decision as, as I don't, I'm not going to address hypotheticals. I, I hope that the Iranians will understand that the world won't tolerate this. It's not just the United States. The world understands who the aggressor is here. Uh, they understand that it's the Islamic Republic of Iran that now has for four decades uh, conducted assassination campaigns in Europe, conducted terrorist activities, has attempted to influence now more than uh, four capitals throughout the Middle East. Uh, the Iranian nation has been a series of bad actors. Their leadership has taken them in a direction that their people surely do not want. And so how we will respond to any particular act that the Islamic Republic of Iran takes, the president will decide when we get there. Okay. Thank you all very much. I look forward to traveling with you all. Well, the Secretary of State uh, addressing two of the hotspots in the world, both North Korea and Iran, as he prepares to take off to Saudi Arabia first and the UAE and also consult with our European allies in Brussels, saying that there needs to be an international community against Iranian aggression. And uh, we also heard him say that the drone that the Iranians shot down was in international airspace, claiming that any claims from the Iranians that it was in their territory is not true. Clearly trying to uh, corral the support of our allies for an international community effort against the mullahs in Tehran, also raising the possibility of a third summit with President Kim Jong-un and President Trump after the North Koreans said they received an excellent letter from the president raising uh, the possibility of that while the sanctions continue. And of course, the president will impose sanctions on Iran tomorrow, so the diplomacy there continues.